welcome to our last liter literacy lesson for the week. Our last lesson is usually a writing lesson, and we've been working very hard on your report writing. Now we're all done with report writing, so today we're going to do a little bit of a travel journal. Now, Stanley has been traveling around the world for us. Right now we're staying safe at home, but Stanley has been traveling all over the world to places like Colombia and Guatemala and Greece and Amsterdam. He has been all over. Now, today you guys are going to be going on your own virtual trip. So attached to this assignment, there are four different videos and each of them are their own virtual field trip. The four choices are to go to the rainforest, to the Mayan ruins, to the coral reef and on a safari. So when you're done watching my video, you get to go up and choose what virtual field trip you are going to go on. You're gonna have your own turn to travel just like Stanley has been. Now, every stop that Stanley has been to, he has written a letter or a journal and sent it back to us. Each journal has been about what he's done, what he saw, even about what he's eaten. So after you take your own virtual field trip, you get to do your own travel journal, just like Stanley. Now in your travel journal, there are four questions that I want you to answer. So today in our lesson, I'm going to show you how to write the travel journal. That way, when you're all done, you can go watch your own virtual field trip and then write your own travel journal. So the four questions that you're going to have to answer or be able to answer are these ones here. Where you went, so where did you go? What you saw and what you learned. And of course, your favorite part. So I went on my own little virtual field trip and I went to the Arctic. So I answered these four questions in a journal below. Of course, with our writing, we need to turn our ideas into sentences. So I'm gonna show you each question, how I answered it, and then we'll read the journal together. So the first question is, where you went? Where did you go? My sentence was, on my trip, I went to the Arctic. I answered that one. The next question is, what you saw. What do you see? I saw polar bears and penguins. I was, was pretty excited. The next question is what you learned. What is something that you learned that you didn't know before? I bet you'll learn a lot, but I want you to pick one idea. I said, I learned that Norwals are called unicorns of the sea because they have a tusk out their head. Oh, right there, just like a unicorn. And then the last part of your journal is your favorite part. I said, my favorite part was when I saw baby seals. They were so cute. Now, boys and girls, I hope you noticed that even though there's a list of questions for our travel journal, I didn't just write down an idea or a list. I turned my ideas into a sentence or into sentences that went together to make a whole travel journal. It's been so interesting to read Stanley's journals because they're like little stories. And my journal has turned that way as well. I didn't just write down Arctic, polar bears, Norwals, baby seals. That is just a list that would be so boring to read. So your job is to answer each question with a sentence. That way it flows together to become a journal. So let's read mine all together so you can hear the difference. My list could have just been Arctic, penguins, Norwals, baby seals. But instead, I turned it into a journal that says, on my trip, I went to the Arctic. I saw polar bears and penguins. I learned that Norwals are called unicorns of the sea because they have a tusk on their head. My favorite part was when 
I saw baby seals. All right, so boys and girls, now that you've watched this video lesson, you've got two jobs to do. You get to pick what trip you want to go on and watch the video. When you're all done, there is a Google form that has these question prompts on it. Now, of course, it is a writing activity, so you have your choice. You can write your sentences right into the Google form to make your travel journal or you can write it out by hand, take a picture of it, and upload it into the Dropbox. Either way for a writing activity. Now, of course, there are four options up there for you for what trip you want to go on. I want you to make a travel journal for one of them. That doesn't mean that you can't watch any of the others. You can look through and go on all the trips that you want, but just make sure you're writing a travel journal for one. All right, boys and girls, now have fun and bon voyage.